Anime as a medium keeps on growing and growing. In the last two videos, I highlighted underappreciated shorter anime, which I classified as one core, and longer anime, which I classified as 50 episodes or more. But in this video, we'll be looking at the middle ground of this and diving into some underrated anime that are two cores long, ranging anywhere from 22 to 27-ish episodes. If you're looking for a good middle-sized story and world to be entranced in, one that's not too quick, but not too much of a commitment either, then check out these shows. Also, leave some underrated anime of your own in the comments as chances are I haven't seen them yet and would love to. If you're a fan of thought-provoking anime, then Sakurada Reset might be for you. Set in the oceanside town of Sakurada that's filled with people with supernatural abilities, RMCK meets a girl named Haruki who has the ability to reset everything around her for 3 days maximum. Mixing it in with Kei's ability of photographic memory, they band together with others in order to help aid the townspeople. As a warning, this anime does require close attention to understand what's happening and is pretty dialogue heavy. But what makes the anime unique and fun are all of the different supernatural abilities that come into play and the combinations everyone uses in order to help solve the bigger picture. It really rewards the viewer for watching and creates a lot of suspense even when the anime portrays itself as more tranquil in its ambiance. The anime never really caught on, probably because of the close attention needed to watch it. But if this sounds like it's for you, then you will definitely love it. A lot of people turn away from Ajin after seeing that it's CGI animated, but the supernatural horror anime is a master in creating thrill and gluing you to the screen. When immortal humans, dubbed as the Ajin, start appearing, mankind deems them as a threat and arrests them immediately. After our MC, also named K, survives a car crash that was supposed to take his life, and thus begins a lot of torment he goes through as everyone comes after him. As a new Ajin, K is on the run but discovers that there is a lot more of these creatures that are closer to him than he thinks. This isn't my usual preferred genre of anime, but I was hooked from episode 1 and had to keep going until I finished. It was intense until the last second, and though it ended well and chances are low, I'd love for a season 3 someday. On a much lighter tone, The Saint's Magic Power is Omnipotent is a perfect comfy fantasy romance to watch when you're de-stressing from a hard day. Following the trope of being isekai to another world, Sei discovers that she is in contention to become the Holy Maiden or the Saint. Her aptitude for magic draws in everyone around her and we follow Sei as she navigates the new world. Despite its isekai setup, the show takes a more relaxed, almost slice of life approach as opposed to an anime filled with power levels, crazy world building, and guild parties members. The Saint's magic power is omnipotent, is full of fluff, but has enough progression and story to keep you from getting bored. I'd put this anime in the realm of Snow White with the Red Hair and The World is Still Beautiful, which are also great anime, so you should check those out as well. Similar in vain to Madoka Magica, where the show is a lot more dramatic and edgier compared to what it seems, but Cross is like the neglected middle child sibling that never got the attention it needed. The anime follows the release of a popular card game called Recross and the special decks that transform specific players into a simulation of the game. The chosen girls battle it out against others in exchange for having a wish granted, but losing too much can cause their lives to be destroyed. The anime quickly gets dark and can keep you on edge as you wonder what awaits the fate of the girls playing Recross, alongside learning what their true wishes are and the twists that come with it. For the purposes of this video, I will not be including the loose follow-ups to the Selector Recross series as they don't need to be seen and aren't as good, but I still enjoyed them, so if you become a fan of the franchise, it wouldn't hurt to check them out as well. If you enjoyed the drama that the musical aspects of Your Line April and Blue Giant gave you, then Forest of Piano is right up your alley. Discovering an abandoned piano in the middle of the forest, Kei, who was raised in poverty, often goes out to play the piano when he meets another kid, Shuhei, who was raised from a line of prestigious pianists. Despite their different backgrounds, they share their love for the instrument and we follow Kei's life as he grows up and enters various competitions. There's a lot of commentary on traditional versus innovative, and the character art of K and everyone he meets along the way is what makes this anime special. At 24 episodes, the anime adapts the entire manga and K's character is really inspiring and wondrous to watch. I especially like the first half where we follow K's life as a kid. Not a lot of people have seen this anime, maybe because the animation is on the lower end, but it definitely needs more love. I discussed Penguin Drum in my video about sad anime that will make you cry, and I'd like to re-emphasize here that there is nothing quite like this 24 episode 
episode journey in the medium. The show heavily plays on the theme of fate and showcases many different artistic expressions that it can mean. The twin brothers of the Takakura family live with their sister who is constantly in poor health. After what seems like the end, she is revived by a penguin hat she gets as a souvenir, but there is a catch. The twin brothers must go on a wild goose chase for this mysterious penguin drum. This only scratches the surface of what the show is about as there are many twists and artistic choices that will leave you both confused and hooked as to what is going on. The anime left me feeling really empty, but not in an unsatisfying way, rather one that made me enter a state of emotional overdrive from the great storytelling that I felt nothing but a hole in my heart after completing it. I read a review somewhere that described elegant yokai apartment life as a school passion project, and I have to concur that the metaphor is a perfect way to describe the show. The animation isn't the best, and sometimes the story beats got clunky and fell out of place a good amount of time, yet I'm just not sure what it is, but the anime feels like it was made with so much heart and passion that it feels worthy to recommend to others. Entering a house full of supernatural creatures, Yushi has to adjust to his new home life on top of adapting to his high school life. The show balances the various yokai stories while still having arcs that follow Yushi's school life and classmates. It makes the world that they set up feel really lively and even without the high budget and some story issues, I still had a good time. Upon getting her hands on a note, all capitalized for stylistic purposes, Hajime Ichinose's life changes as she learns that the device transforms her into a gachamon which are the legendary protectors of the city. Hajime joins the rest of the Gachamon in protecting the city from alien threats. Gachamon Crowds is overall very fun. From its wacky style to the characterization behind everyone, there's a sense of this wackiness that blends with the seriousness very well. Some characters might be a you either love them or hate them situation, but the show is just a joy to get through. I particularly loved the way that they portray the smartphone and what they do with it here. I'm running out of synonyms for great, but it's great, so be sure to check it out. As one of the few reverse isekai out there, there's just nothing quite like Troika's recreators. I really like the creative directions they took the story, and I could tell that as a viewer that the writers really had a lot of ideas for how they wanted to implement the world. Set in modern day Tokyo, fictional characters conceived from the countless stories humans have created start appearing in the modern era. A knight, a magical girl, a mech rider, villains, and much more start being transported and wreaking havoc on Tokyo and the various authors of the stories, as well as other common folk, must come together to figure out what is happening and regulate everyone new coming into the world. This one was a real hoot, as the stories constantly took new turns and culminated into an ultimate showdown. Since the premise was so unique, some of its mixed reception came from people's expectations being set really high. And though I feel it met all of my expectations, to some, maybe it didn't. The show is full of action, fun ideas, and interesting dialogue as well and tells its complete story in just 22 episodes. Lost in the ages of time and the numerous anime that have come after it, 2007's Ghost Town presented a unique psychological horror anime that was both thrilling and educational at the same time. Fun fact, I actually watched this anime my senior year of high school while studying for my AP Psychology exam, and I ended up passing it! The anime dives into the different psychologist theories, the stages of sleep, and discusses the different motor functions of the brain seamlessly while presenting a creepy yet thrilling mysterious show about three characters with trauma that they must overcome. For example, the main character was kidnapped 11 years ago in an incident that also had his sister killed. He represses all of his memories of this event, but it all resurfaces when he sleeps. Check this anime out if you want to feel smart or even scared like I did. Thank you so much for sticking with me as I try and highlight various anime that I feel should have gotten more recognition. If you haven't yet, check out my other videos as I've highlighted anime of different lengths as well, and do leave suggestions in the comments as I'd love to find more gems. Up next, I will try and cover some underrated anime by specific genres, so be sure to subscribe for more. See ya!